Many of you have used the cratering activity to illustrate the best time to view the moon. Now here's your chance to extend one of our favorite activities in a whole new way. When visitors look at the moon, sometimes they ask why there's so many craters on the moon and not on the Earth. If you want, you can even ask them that question yourself to get this activity started. Explain to them that the early solar system was a wild place. First of all, there were a lot more asteroids, and the gravity from big planets like Jupiter was flinging asteroids in all directions. There were so many asteroids traveling through our solar system that impacts were happening frequently. This pan represents the moon's surface, and these represent chunks of asteroids that bombarded the moon early on. Almost all of the lunar impacts happened in the beginning of the solar system's history. These asteroids weren't trying to hit the moon. Just like regular rocks, they don't have eyes. So ask your audience to turn around and drop the rock behind their backs like this. Most of the rocks will miss the moon. That's fine. Most of the objects that pass nearby miss the moon altogether. If your audience is having a hard time hitting the moon at all, go ahead and let them make a few craters the easy way. Great. So now this model looks a little more like the moon. But back to our original question. The moon is our closest neighbor. If all those things hit the moon back then, shouldn't some of them have hit the Earth too? Yeah. So where are all the craters on Earth? Here, we have a model of the Earth. This pan represents all of the dry land, and the blue sheet here represents the oceans. Like your visitors probably guessed, the Earth was hit with lots of space rocks long ago too. Let them make craters on Earth in the same way, not looking. You'll see that many of these rocks didn't land in the pan, but on the ocean. Over 70% of the Earth is covered in water, and a rock won't leave a permanent crater in water. But all the big space rocks didn't land in the ocean. No, some of them must have landed on solid land, right? Then why doesn't North America look like this pan? Your visitors might guess that one reason is erosion. Wind and water slowly change the landscape, wearing down crater walls, and filling them in with sand and dust, like this. But there's another big reason we don't see them, and that's because of what a dynamic place our Earth is. The crust is moving all the time. We have earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountains forming. That erases most craters over time. You can go ahead and let one of your visitors make an earthquake. So most of the traces of past impacts have been erased. But there's even more. The Earth has another important thing that the Moon doesn't have. Atmosphere. It's good for breathing, and it's also good at stopping small objects from ever making it to the ground. When space rocks collide with Earth, they hit the atmosphere first, and they are really flying. These rocks can slam into the atmosphere at up to 40 miles per second. Have you ever done a belly flop in the pool? You know how the water feels really hard when you hit it, almost like it's solid? Believe it or not, when a rock hits our atmosphere, it's kind of like slamming into something solid, too. When rocks are slowed down so fast, they heat up and leave a trail of hot gas and vaporized rock. Does anyone know what happens then? Right! We see a meteor. Asteroids smaller than a house will explode or vaporize in our atmosphere, so they won't hit the ground to make craters. You can tell your visitors if they watch the sky closely tonight, they might even see some meteors. <laughs>